It's your girl, Niambi Knows. <laughs> Midwest girl in California. Westside. Yep. I'm just living my life. Hey. You know what? You better subscribe to my channel. Hey. Hey, this is Niambi Knows, Midwest girl in California. And I hope everyone is shining bright, living a positive life. Shine bright like a diamond. Yes. That's how I try to live my life and bring positivity in everything that I do. But today we're gonna to talk about oatmeal. Yes, oatmeal, honey. In everybody's house, we got this oatmeal box that has these instant oatmeal packets. And I love oatmeal. I grew up eating oatmeal. I still love oatmeal. I make my oatmeal with milk and butter. But sometimes you get tired of it in these little oatmeal packets especially the originals yes are always just lingering in your cabinet your kids are tired of them your husband ain't gonna eat it <laughs> and you are done with it but we don't want to throw them away so i'm going to show you three different ways you can use your instant oatmeal for breakfast for lunch for dinner for a snack idea so yeah stick around we're going to uh get creative with these little instant oatmeal packets don't throw these away y'all we can save these we can save them <laughs> okay now the first thing we're going to do with our instant oatmeal packets is make oatmeal banana pancakes and guess what you don't need any flour you don't need any sugar we're just going to use instant oatmeal you can use the original you can use the maple brown sugar you can use the apple whichever kind you have if you're trying to keep your sugar content down just use the original um you're going to need a banana we all have a little ugly banana laying around the counter don't throw it away we're going to put it in these pancakes <laughs> and we're going to need some cinnamon a little salt butter to make the pancakes you know in the pan and then we're going to top it with some strawberries, some blueberries, and drizzle it with some honey. So let's get started. Okay, as you see, this is all the ingredients that you'll need for your oatmeal banana pancakes. Very simple. Now get that banana out and put it in a bowl and get to smashing. Of course, if you're doubling or tripling this recipe, use as many bananas as you like. Then you're gonna take that oatmeal, I'm using the maple brown sugar, your cinnamon and your salt, and you're gonna give it a good thorough mix that is really mixed together. All right, now get that butter and put it in the skillet. Make sure that it is melted. I'm using medium low heat. Create some patties out of your oatmeal banana pancakes. You can make any shape that you want. I'm making some little small ones here in my skillet. Look how good they look. And I also made a bigger, flatter pancake. I actually like this one better. It made it more crispy. I like the flatter pancake. Now, after you have cooked them for two to three minutes on both sides, take them out and put them on a plate. And now you're gonna add your berries, your strawberries, your blueberries, and then you're gonna drizzle that honey, baby. Drizzle it, drizzle it. Okay, y'all, so we finished our first instant oatmeal recipe idea. And we made the oatmeal banana pancakes, no flour, no sugar. Topped it with honey, strawberries, and blueberries. So let's try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Those are really good. Mmm. These are really good. You can taste the butter, the banana, cinnamon. The, nice, the honey is nice on it. Strawberries, blueberries. I would definitely want to have these over a bowl of oatmeal some days. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we are back with our second recipe with our instant oatmeal, and we are going to make a tropical mango smoothie. Mm-hmm, a smoothie. I know you're looking at the camera like, girl, a smoothie with oatmeal? Yes, girl, a smoothie with oatmeal. And we're definitely gonna use the original uh, pack for this, and we're gonna use some tropical fruit, all frozen, mango, banana, and pineapple, and we're gonna use coconut milk that's gonna give it that tropical feel and we're gonna use some fresh lemon 
and some vanilla. So let's get started. I'm feeling tropical already. Hey! Now look at here, look at here. One pack of oatmeal, vanilla, lemon, coconut milk, and frozen fruit. That's all you need. So now you're gonna take your pack of oatmeal and put it in a blender or food processor. I'm using the Magic Bullet, and you're gonna grind it up until it's a fine powder. Grind it up, grind it up. No, I'm just joking. So for the next step, I'm going to use my Ninja Blender and I'm putting the rest of the ingredients in there, the grinded up oatmeal, the frozen fruit, the coconut milk, and the vanilla. And I'm using the smoothie button on the blender, blending it until smooth. Ooh, look how creamy that is as I pour it into the cup. Okay, we made our second recipe with our instant oatmeal, the tropical mango smoothie. Mmm, so let's try it. Mmm, very creamy, very creamy. You can taste those bananas, you can taste those pineapples, you can taste the mangoes. You can't taste the oatmeal, but it's not overpowering. Mmm, this will definitely be a great lunch, maybe with a nice side salad, definitely a pick-me-up after a workout. Mm, refreshing in the morning instead of coffee. You're getting your oatmeal, you're getting your fruit. And let me tell you, with this one pack of oatmeal, you're gonna get potassium, thiamine, phosphorus, iron, and calcium. With one pack of oatmeal that you just snuck in that little smoothie. Mm. This is a winner. This is definitely a winner. Mm. Let me go ahead and put this smoothie up because we're about to do meal idea number three with what we can do with this instant oatmeal. Mm. Had to get one last sip. It's really good. Okay, so this is a lunch or dinner idea. We're gonna fry some fish. Like I said, y'all doubted me on that smoothie. But well, we're gonna fry some fish with this pack of instant oatmeal. Now check out all the ingredients. I'm using cod as my fish of choice. And there's all my seasonings. You can use whatever seasonings you like, but for my seafood, I always have to have my old bay. Now once again, you're gonna take that pack of oatmeal, you're gonna put it in a blender or food processor, and you're gonna grind it up. <laughs> until it's a fine powder. Now add it to a shallow bowl and start adding your seasonings. I'll be honest, I'm not good at telling you how much seasoning to put in. I just eye it, because I've been doing it for so long, but just make sure it's seasoned well. And then you're going to add some lemon zest. Always put that fresh lemon zest in there. And then I'm cutting up from my garden, I'm so proud, fresh basil and rosemary. And I'm gonna add that to the oatmeal mixture. Okay, now let's whisk the egg, but also season it with salt and pepper. You wanna season every layer of your food. And then you're gonna take that fish and dip it, baby, dip it, and then coat it in the breading. Dip it, baby, dip it, and coat it in the breading. Yes. In a skillet, add oil. I'm using a cast iron skillet, and I am using olive oil. Make sure the oil is hot before adding in your fish. Cook four minutes on each side until golden brown. Check out that sizzle. Make sure you flip it. Mm, it looks so good. It looks so crispy. Yes. And then I'll always drain the excess oil on a paper towel, add more lemon, and of course, Old Bay. All right, y'all. We created our third meal idea with that instant oatmeal. We fried some fish. Mmm. Looks wonderful. Oh my gosh. And what I liked about frying it with the oats, it wasn't falling off in that oil which sometimes flour does. So let's try it. Let's look at it. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Mmm. I made a little socket salad with it. Some more lemon.
Yo, this is good. This is good. I'm telling you. You don't even need the flour. I'm talking about this flavorful. As long as you season that oatmeal, it's crunchy. It has that nice crunch. Mmm. I'm telling you. So I hope you enjoy all my meal ideas. We made the banana oatmeal pancakes. We made the tropical mango smoothie. And we made the fried fish with oatmeal, which will be gluten free. So y'all don't have to throw away that oatmeal that's sitting in y'all cabinet. And your family won't even know that you use oatmeal to fry this fish or made that smoothie. And I think the kids will really like those banana oatmeal pancakes. So yeah, get creative in your kitchen. Once again, I'm 90 Knows. Make sure you subscribe and I appreciate it. Until next time, enjoy. Yes.